What was your theme of practice here today as you prepare for Arizona? Uh, just get back to the way we play. Um, I thought it was a hard work in practice, just details. Um, harder offensively, harder defensively, and just get back to our, what we think is our identity. You expect more, obviously, attention to detail. Yeah, uh, but to, to me, it's just playing with intensity, playing, like I said, to our identity. We're a four-checking team that works hard, that tracks, that's in your face. Um, I don't think we've brought that the last couple of games, um, and the results dictate that. I think we'll be much better. So you would swap wingers here as well, top two lines. Is that something moving forward that you're going to stick with? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, we wanted to try to bring Kat there. I think um, Drew is, is, is real good for Pinto when he's with him. Okay. Um, I think mentoring him and, and helping him, um, you know, and I think on the road um, a guy like G can, can help in, in a guy like Pinto's development. At the halfway point of Shane's season here, are you noticing that it maybe – it's catching up to him a little bit. Well, I think it's it's hard, especially on the road when you you know we had envisioned Norris being here and and him you know comfortably getting into that three hole and then climbing from there. But um, you know every night when you're playing the other team's top players, it's a tough league. But he's going to be a real good player. Um, you know he's probably our best player at practice today. I thought he had great energy, um, and he's going to continue to get better. And you're going to go through bumps in the roads. Josh went through the same thing. Timmy went through the same thing. Um, but He's going to be a real good NHL player. Is there any update on uh, Joseph? Yeah, he's not ready yet. Um, talked this morning, and uh, he's not ready to go. And um, Zaitsev have went out for a skate here. Is he? No, able? he's still a ways away, but he uh, he's going to skate here on this trip and maybe practice with us. But, uh, no, he's not available. Coach, since uh, December 6th, your group has only given up two power play goals. What level of confidence does that give you knowing that uh, when you're put in that position, your team is going to grind it out? Well, I think both special teams have been really good. Of late, maybe the power play hasn't gone in as much, but both special teams groups have been better. Um, you know, and the goaltending's been great in, in that department. We're winning face-offs. Our stand on the penalty kill is really good, and that's probably the strength of that group. Um, you know, now we've got to put it all together with the 5-on-5, five -five. And, and our 5-on-5 five -five play, which was real good earlier, has slipped. And, uh, you know, our, if we can get our 5-on-5 five -five game going better, and the way it was with the special teams, wins will start to happen a little more often. What's needed at five on five? Just harder, just harder, more uh, being more connected, um, you know, working harder offensively, tracking. We're, we're a team that doesn't give up a whole lot of odd man rushes. Uh, I think we're fourth in the league right now in odd man rushes against. Last two games, we've given up way too many, and they end up in the back of the net. So one thing is we're going to try and get uh, go back to is, is taking away those odd man rushes um, and then just being more connected, playing with a little more confidence. A little bit of a different atmosphere here tomorrow. Are you looking forward to the game here in the Mullet Arena? Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a great energy. It'd be like more like a, you know, obviously a junior crowd when you got, you know, 13 years or whatever I was in, in junior. You got the fans that are right up on top of you, and surely they they play a little harder when that noise is 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 kicking. It doesn't matter how many fans, it's the what's going on in the building, and it'll feel like a like a real good game. Nice for Mark Costello to get an opportunity to play here, grow up here, and you know. Yeah, for sure. And, and uh, you know, his dad was here at practice, got to see Ed. Uh, he'll go home, have dinner with his family tonight. It's always great when you get a chance to go back to your hometown and, uh, um, you know, or, or where you live and you have friends and people you hang around with all the time. It's always real cool. So he's been a, he's been a real good, solid player for us. He continues to get better. Um, and uh, let's hope he has a good one here tomorrow. Practice? Yeah, it was good. Uh, high pace, uh, exactly what we needed, I think. Uh, the last couple games, I think we kind of got away from our game. So, um, you know what, we, we show up today. We had a good practice. We got to bring that tomorrow. Uh, easy games <clears throat> to flush those last two. It's almost a, a you know, you take a kind of a step back here with the way the, the games went. Yeah, for sure, especially the Seattle one. But, I mean, um, Nashville, I think you also got to give credit to, to their goalie. He's been, he's been uh, running really good lately. So, um, but I mean, looking back on tape, there's things we need to be better, and we know that we're all aware of that, and uh, that's what we practice today. That's why we uh, we got to hold ourselves accountable, and we got to make sure that uh, when it's time to play tomorrow, we bring that. How much of a difference can the road be playing on the road? Yeah, it's a big difference for sure. I mean, uh, you don't got to step on the S and press anyone. You're on the road. You just got to get out there and and, and do what we do. That uh, we know we have success, and uh, when we skate, when we four check, and we don't uh, we don't give a uh, the other thing, uh, the other team, uh, any freebies, um, we give ourselves a chance, and uh, that's kind of what we got away from, I think, the last two games, and 
Uh, we gave the teams uh, the other, Nashville or Seattle a couple uh, couple goals that we should have been there and we shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, gave them that chance. But uh, I mean that's part of the game. But looking back on it, that's what we uh, we got to get back to, to our identity. Thomas, <coughs> you hit the midpoint of the schedule, game forty one. Where do you kind of feel like this team is at? Um, it's 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 getting good. I think. I mean, obviously we we go through some ups and downs and and. We're, that, we're aware of that. I mean, there's been injuries, and, and that's no excuses for anyone. I mean, everybody's going through it in the league. Um, but you know what? I think when we, um, like I've been saying, I think when we, we, we play the way we know we have success, uh, we can beat any team. Um, but it's really a matter of, of, of doing it every night and, and, and do it every, basically every single night. There's no, no other way around. Yes, we do have some skills, and we might get away with it one night. but. Um, at the end of the day, what, what makes us good is, is the way we play and, and the way we put pressure on teams. Do you still feel like maybe you're still kind of battling to try to find consistency? Or, or do you think you found that for stretches but not, but not been able to maintain it? Is that yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a good way to do it. I mean, we wouldn't go around and saying that it's not true. But I mean, it's, it's only fair that we, 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 we know what we... Uh, you know we what we what we have to do to get out there and when we go on the ice and, and play the game and um, we've been through some stretches where we're uh, we feel like we can beat anybody in the league and, and we've we've shown that and then we go through stretches like the last two games here that um, that's just not us and, and we're not going to beat uh, some teams and, and teams that are uh, been in playoffs for a couple of years so um, we're aware of that, but I mean that—that's that, also part of the season. There's so many games, but I mean that's—it's really a matter of time now. The last stretch of the season, where um, all the big teams and all the uh, playoff team, I guess you can call them, uh, the, uh, that's where everybody steps up their game, and, and they, they really don't give you a whole lot. So that's when we gotta uh, take an even bigger step for ourselves and, and play good hockey here down the stretch. Your nine points, <coughs> sorry, no, you're, you're, you're nine points out of a, a, the final wild card spot right now. What do you have to do? You, you guys have talked a lot about playing meaningful games in March. What do you have to do in this next stretch of games before your week long break to make sure that you do play meaningful games in March? I mean, it's, it's simply enough, I think the month of December we had, I think that's exactly what we have, we need for the rest of the year. It's that simple. I mean, there's, um, no one in front of you is really going to lose that many games in a row. Like I said, this is the time of the year where um, the, the, the teams that are supposed to make playoffs since the start of the season, that's where everybody takes a step and bring their A game. And um, for us, if we want to uh, get there and get in the playoffs or get playing meaningful games at the end of the year, this is when we gotta we got to take a step here and we got to have a really good month. And obviously, I mean, it's simple as that. I think we got to win more games than we lose. I mean, it's simple to say, but I mean, that's the reality of things. In other words, Two is enough. Two straight losses, and it ends there. Yeah, you got to cut it. I mean, you can't go uh, to uh, three, four losses in a row. I think that's when you create that gap. That's just um, too hard to come back. And uh, but I mean, it's it's like we said, it's going to happen throughout the season. And last game, obviously, we we gave him a couple goals, but uh, we could have also scored a bunch. But we. Uh, sometimes you're going to face that, but you you got to believe in, in what we have as a team and what we can do as a team, and that's all that matters is when we go out there, we just got to do it. What are you expecting from this Arizona team tomorrow night? They're 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 a hardworking team. I mean, it's uh, make no mistakes. I don't think it's going to be uh, one of those nights that you get out there and you can just go around. But but like I said, I think the biggest thing is is really about us in the room. It's about us as players. It's not uh, necessarily who we we're playing. I mean, we're gonna we have a tough road trip here coming up, so. Um, it's really about going out there and, and, and play a good hockey game, good good 60 minutes. A little bit of a diff different atmosphere. Are you looking forward to playing here in the Mullet Arena? Yeah, I mean, it'll be different. I mean, uh, kind of reminds you of Junior again a little bit coming in here, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I think it's at the end of the day, there's there's two points on the line, and that's what we got to worry about. But, you, like, you don't get often to play in this an NHL game in this kind of setting. Yeah. Like, that, that means something. I mean, it's pretty... Intimate setting is it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's different. I mean you come in here this uh, This morning just looking around. I mean, I mean they did a good job. The rink looks great and everything, but um, Obviously we always want to you you play in the NHL You always want to play in front of, of the big buildings and the big crowds, but I mean that's that's part of it It's at the end of the day. Like I said, it's another hockey game and their uh, the goal is still the same and it, it doesn't change anything
So what would be on the menu at the Castellic household here tonight? Uh, I talked to my mom this morning about it, and I think it's going to be some steak, macaroni, salad, and then she said she tried to make some cookies too, so definitely excited for that, and I'm, ready to, I'm excited to go home and just have a good home-cooked meal. Just feels good, right? It's just, yeah, I mean, I've been looking forward to this trip all year, and uh, yesterday was nice to fly in a couple days early, and then just no pressure to squeeze everything in, just kind of take my time and, and I really just soak it in. What kind of memories are conjured up here when you return to where it all started for you? Just a lot, I mean, <laughs> and this rink is not so much just because it's so new, but five minutes down the road, I grew up playing hockey, so um, it brings back a lot of just, I mean, having my dad here too, watching practice, just like the old days, um, it's pretty exciting for me and I, I think everybody in my family is going to really have a lot of fun tomorrow. As far as the pressure of playing here tomorrow, you've got a two-game losing streak that's got to come to an end, obviously. You're thinking about that. But at the same time, is it easier said than done to just go out and play your game? Um, like personally? Yeah. I think um, it's mostly just excitement. Uh, I mean, I've played in front of family and friends before, and I think I know what to expect now. And... Uh, it just gives me that a little bit more of a boost of energy, I think. I don't put too much more extra pressure to do anything crazy or special. So I think everything kind of just is same old, and I'm just trying to come to the ring focused as I can and try to help the team win and do whatever I can to do that. You mentioned this isn't the rink, obviously, that you grew up going to, but are you looking forward to what the atmosphere is going to be here tomorrow? Uh, I'm super, super pumped for uh, for tomorrow night, and I don't know what to expect, but I, I mean, you've seen videos and you've heard about other guys talking about it, and I think it'll be pretty cool. And just, I mean, on top of that, knowing that there's a lot of people here watching me is going to be really cool. Well, and you don't get to, to play NHL games in this kind of setting, well, at all, mm -hmm. right? You know. Yeah, I mean, it kind of reminds me of junior a little bit. Just a lot of those like uh, smaller size rinks, and um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, rinks in the. Uh, BC division and the WHL that are this exact size so I think I mean it's familiar for me and I mean it, it'll be really cool to see the atmosphere tomorrow. Like where your game's at right now first full half season in the NHL? Um, I mean I've learned a lot throughout this first 40 whatever games we've played and um, I mean there's been a little bit of ups and downs along the way and a lot of learning curves but overall I, I feel like the biggest thing for me is just consistency, and that's kind of the one thing I've been learning and just how to try to bring it every night, even if you're not feeling it all the time, and just doing little things that can contribute to the team, and that's kind of the biggest things I've learned and I think I've improved on.